Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today is patch day 1.0.7, just hit live servers and I'm gonna do a short recap for you. They also teased a new Descendant. Is it gonna be a chill Descendant? We don't know yet, but it's gonna have a big gun. Is that a sniper? We don't know yet, but I'm very curious. I cannot wait to see what is going to be the new Descendants. I don't know, let's see. But with that being said, let's talk about the latest patch and what has been changed today. This is gonna be a short update for you. You don't have to read any patch notes and stuff like this. I'm going to just save the hustle for you and walk you through the latest changes. First of all, they added some quality improvement over here, quality of life improvement over here. Now we can see if the, uh, if the component is a set with this icon over here. You can also see also the color of your rolls, which is pretty cool. Same thing over here for the rolls and for your weapons as well. This is a pretty neat change. The other change that they did over here in Infrotation Operation, aka Dungeons, they removed the Grappling Hook Disable and the Jump Disable, which honestly made no, no sense. Over here right now, when you're re-rolling for uh, perfect modifiers, they won't appear anymore, and you don't have to reselect those. You can simply just have the check mark on and look for that perfect 220 uh, up to 240 score over here which is pretty neat it is going to save you a little bit of time however they kept sprint disabled which i don't recommend especially if you're doing this with bunny this is gonna be a pure disaster if you're going for this uh, type of you know uh, stuff but over here now they made this a little bit more convenient um and they also added we can now check the two tips over here uh, when we are selecting the re rewards, which is pretty neat uh, and convenient. Frostwalker and Frostwalker now will be an easier fight. Uh, for those of you who haven't cleared Frostwalker, now is the time. First of all, uh, when you're going to blow up a weak point of a shoulder plate or something like that, uh, now they are going to drop two fire orbs, which is really convenient for collecting, you know, the six fire orbs that you need. The runner that is going to be collecting these it will be way easier to do that now also they will be reducing the speed of his leg movement when he is in the immunity phase if you haven't checked him out yet when you are in an immunity phase his leg used to go bananas and you were it was a quite a challenge to hit those you know needles that you need to pop um that he had on his uh, knees now this will be way much more easier and they also in increased the bar for the frenzy buildup so they generally made this fight so much more easier can't wait to grind Fro uh, frost walker with you guys and in fact if you need help with your frost walker make sure you tune in on my stream on twitch um i stream every day and we I, we help people clear out boss content on hard mode every single day so if you need help with frost Walk frost walker just tune in uh and happy to help so what they also changed is when there is some poison or frost or fire on the ground after you defeat the boss this will no longer kill you it will disappear so when the boss fight is over it is over you won't die from anything now other than other than the boss fights uh, other than frostwalker uh, being nerfed they actually buffed a little bit one of the descendants and this time it is eugene eugene is going to receive a little bit of a buff on his fourth ability so he will be healing a little bit more which is pretty awesome playing eugene I will, i'm pretty sure you will appreciate that and everyone in his party is going to appreciate that with uh, a bunch of more heals. What they also changed is actually uh, pretty convenient for people that are using uh, for descendants like Luna that are using a special unique weapon as a skill. Uh, now this is going to grant proficiency experience. They fixed they fixed a few bugs here and there, nothing too uh, serious, nothing too fancy. Now another change that they introduced with this patch is basically they are buffing this toxic void fragment mission over here. It was kind of slow right not right now. What they are doing they're actually uh increasing the amount of waves of mobs so they will spawn a uh, spawn a little bit quicker and this is a little bit convenient for this mission you don't only have to do the one in white knight gulch um over here this is kind of quicker if you have a party of two or three freinas this could be actually pretty convenient so that's a good change. And I wanted to very quickly highlight this week's re reactor rotation. It looks like there are some best in slot reactor rotations for a few descendants. For example, an interesting one, if you're looking for general rounds, reactors would be 
uh, for um, tech. So basically, Freyna could grind for a better reactor. Electric Singular is also available over here if you're still grinding for that perfect yellow roll reactor for your bunny this is where you need to go um and if you're probably also looking for the non-attribute dimensional one still um for general rounds mirror stone is the place to go for special rounds if you're looking for a best in slot for example uh fire year, um with special rounds would be misty woods for lepic and then uh derelict covered would be for um glare if you're looking for a fire one if you're looking for a chill reactor the best in slots usually are two options going for the majority of the builds which is not hypothermia you would like to go for some kind of a tech reactor this week's it's only a high power round so if you're looking for some kind of a sniper build or something like this you could go for these reactors the other one the other good option if you do want to build your viesa for hypothermia which turns all your skills into a singular skill uh, you have one option over here um, actually two options over here one for special rounds and one for uh, high power rounds both will drop you singular reactors with that being said good luck with your drops i hope you get your perfect yellow rolls let's get to it